This is Smiles TV. Welcome to Smiles TV. I'm Stephanie Anthony Miles, and you're watching the best community affairs broadcast in the land. We have a series of unique broadcasts for you. We're going to take you on a journey through Southwestern Illinois College. We're going to focus on their adult literacy department, as well as their workforce equity initiative program. There are a series of certificate programs that you may be interested in. Remember, Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. He was crucified and buried, and he rose on the third day. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, and thou shalt be saved. Stay tuned for more smiles. Welcome to Southwestern Illinois College, more commonly called SWIC. There is a campus near you. SWIC campuses are in Belleville, East St. Louis at the East St. Louis Higher Education Center, the Sam Wolf Granite City Campus, and the Red Bud Campus. There are even available classes online. If you take a look at SWIC's Adult Education and Literacy Department along with SWIC's Workforce Equity Initiative Program, you're bound to find a fit for you. Certifications are available in highway construction, transportation distribution, and logistics, warehouse forklift safety, welding, unarmed security officer certifications are available, practical nursing assistant, and phlebotomy. Are you in need of high school equivalency classes? English as a second language classes? Sounds like a lot of money to you, right? Well, you might be surprised to find that many programs and courses are free and financial aid available for those who qualify. The financial aid office is available to assist you. One last thing, SWIC's Adult Education and Literacy Department along with SWIC's Workforce Equity Initiative Program works diligently to prepare you for employment. SWIC's Student Services Department was created for you and it is available to help you. Let SWIC help you to chart your path in the right direction. It's your time. Take a step. Move forward with SWIC. For additional information, call 618-235-2700. 618-235-2700. Welcome back to Smiles. I am sitting here with Lisa Atkins, the director of Southwestern Illinois College's Adult Education and Literacy Department. Lisa, thank you for coming to Smiles. Thank you. It's a blessing to see you, and I'm just so interested in finding out a little bit more about your programs awesome. and what you do. Tell me a little bit about yourself. So, I am from Centralia, Illinois. Um, uh, in my former employment, I served as Dean of Adult Education, and in July 2015, I joined the SWIC team as their Director of Adult Education and Literacy. Centralia, Illinois. I happen to know some people from Centralia. Okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, last name Gibbony. Uh, they, the young man was a good friend of my brother's. Know so, them well. Know, know them, them well. well. Okay, yes. okay. Yes. So how long have you been here at SWIC? I've been here since July 2015. And um, you, you came in, what was your, your first position? When you came it, in? it was the position of the Director of Adult Education and at as the, as the director, tell us a little bit about your, your departments, the people who are under you. And, so in and my position, doing. I am responsible for overseeing the uh, development, coordination, and delivery of adult education and literacy services uh, in the community college district. I do that in partnership with the uh, ROE number 45 uh, that covers Monroe and Randolph County as the adult education providers uh, approved under the Illinois Community College Board. And so our goal is to provide the residents of our district with the learning environment and skill sets that they need uh, to enter employment, whether that be first going through the door of receiving their 
high school equivalency certification, which people formally know as the GED, or if it's simply assisting them in building their literacy skills so that they can pursue that GED and then move on to post-secondary education and possibly then, hopefully then, into employment. So. Have you been able to track any of the progress of the students who have entered in and have progressed further? Yes, so that is part of our services. Transitional services is a now considered a primary component of adult education and literacy. We're no longer just the individuals that are going to assist you in getting that high school equivalency certificate. We work in partnership uh, with the core partners under the Workforce Development Act, whereas our goal is to increase the number of residents in the district that are receiving post-secondary education degrees and certification and moving into self-sufficient employment. And as far as I can tell, you're, you're spread out all over the place. We are. We are. So we have services, of course, at our main sites, which includes the East St. Louis Higher Education Center, Belleville, Granite City, and Redbud. And then we also have the off-sites. Of course, with the pandemic, those off-sites are closed now. Uh, but in addition to that, we offer English as a second language services, and those are hosted at some of our libraries in the district. Roughly how many students are um, enrolled in your program? So roughly on average, we serve 1,200, 1,200 residents a year uh, through our various services that we offer. Okay. I understand um, a little bit later, we're actually going to talk to someone who's come through the program and yes. they have found success um, uh, afterwards. Yes, we, we actually have two former students uh, that will be joining us for the broadcast today to share their stories. Okay. Uh, each student is unique, and so that's what makes adult education unique. We assess where they at, and then that is where their services begin. So I have a question. How about, I live in Belleville. Yes. However, I want to attend classes in East St. Louis. Is that possible, or absolutely. do I have to attend classes um, in the, my area? Of residents. No, absolutely. You can attend services wherever you choose in the district. Okay, and what about online classes? We do have online classes. The pandemic uh, forced us mm -hmm. into online classes, and that is working out quite well uh, for a lot of our adult learners uh, because most of them tend to work, even if it's part time, so that they can maintain their activities for daily living. So with our adult learners, you must be, you must be at least 16 years of age and not be required to be enrolled in secondary ed. So again, that works out well for some, but online services is not for everyone. So we offer a combination of in-person, hybrid, and online services. And I know you have a, you have a great marketing department and it's we reaching do. people. However, some adults may be hesitant to even admit that they can't read. How do you entice them? How do you encourage them to come in? That is a common problem. And our approach is to let them know that that is okay. And so we are not limited to um, addressing inquiries just through possibly phone conversation. But what we do is we recruit through various means, whether it be using social media, in person, being at fairs, et cetera. Of course, with the pandemic, things have changed, uh, but we have done well using social media to recruit. And so a lot of times, just with that late night Facebook post, because we have our own uh, Facebook page, we'll get that message from a student, say, hey, can you give me more information hmm. about your services? And then that's the clicker for us, because then we go into our recruiting mode to do what we can to convince them that, yes, we are the change agents that can change your life for the rest of your life through our services. That's excellent. As a matter of fact, we need to coin that phrase and, and use it quite a bit. Let me ask you this. I didn't know that you were even here at the East St. Louis Higher Education Center. It's tucked away. It's a beautiful campus and mm -hmm. facility. Are people uh, willing to come to the center? Do you find any hesitancy at all? 
So, of course, with the pandemic, you know, there, there's, there's been a challenge, but our numbers are increasing here at the East St. Louis Center, as well as our other centers as well. So we're hoping this summer we can actually open up some outside. Is there hesitancy? Yes, because students don't know what to necessarily expect, even though we try and com communicate that information mm -hmm. uh, during their inquiry. As, okay, now, we're different. We're, we're not, we're, we'll hold your hand if there is a need. But we're here to serve you based on what you tell us that you need. So adult education is unique because we provide wraparound services. And how we do that is we partner with our core partners, the Workforce Development, Department of Rehab, Wagner Pizer, which people know as Unemployment Office, to do what we can to make sure that we're providing what is needed as far as to make sure that that student remains in their program and does not be subjected to barriers such as trying to maintain a household, child care, transportation, etc. We try to eliminate that to the best of our ability. But again, we can only do our part. The student must be willing to help themselves. Mm -hmm. And so we just simply facilitate that process. Wow. Okay. And if they once they graduate and they are looking for employment. We are still there. We are still there. We uh, have what we call transitional services. So we actually have transitional counselors assigned to our department that will help with the post-secondary education transition or the employment transition. What we understand about our adult learners is when they earn that high school equivalency certification, formerly known as the GED, many of them need to find full-time employment. But we want to keep it in the back of their mind post-secondary education is the route you want to go to advance. So we help them in understanding it's important to not just have a job, but to have a career. And so we do that through using the career pathway model. So we introduce them to that concept once they step in that door, what the career pathway model is, how you can advance from a, just an example, how you can advance from a nurse's assistant to a practical nurse to an RN, to hopefully a practitioner. Wow, all at Southwestern Illinois College. Right, so what we're not able to offer at Southwestern Illinois College, Southwestern Illinois College has set up joint agreements as well as transition agreements to assist that student, whereas those credits that they're receiving at Southwestern Illinois College will go towards that four-year baccalaureate degree that they may desire as their ultimate education goal. You have shared a wealth of information. Is there anything else that you would like to share that we haven't had an opportunity to, dis to discuss? What I would just like to let the residents of our district know is that we're here to serve. We're here to serve. Southwestern mm -hmm. Illinois College is prevalent, we're available, and we're willing. Excellent. You heard it from Lisa Atkins, um, Southwestern Illinois College, especially the Adult Education and Literacy Department and the Workforce Equity um, Program. They're available for you. Thank you, Lisa, for thank being you. a part of Smiles TV. And um, thank you for your patience. And we just hope that people get an opportunity to view this and um, become aware of the various campuses that are available on their behalf. Absolutely. Thank you. Don't go away. Stay tuned for more smiles. Are you looking for an insured and bonded residential or commercial contractor? On Time Contracting, owned by Ali McDowell, is just a phone call away. On Time Contracting operates with the utmost integrity and quantities to complete your project right on time. Residential or commercial, exterior or interior, roofing, siding, flooring, you name it. If you want your project completed for the price quoted and at the time quoted, contact On Time Contracting. Good, quality, professional work guaranteed to be completed on time. Call 618-567-3591. No project is too large or too small. On Time Contracting. Call On Time Contracting today. Stacy, it is a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you.
pleasure to meet you as well. Tell me a little bit about your journey. How did you come to Southwestern Illinois College and um, where are you headed? Um, honestly, I chose, I chose this particular college and, and campus for basically two reasons. The first reason being just a convenience of location. I'm from here, born and raised, and uh, it's, it's my local community college. Uh, but really, uh, it, it's almost as if I was driven driven here and I was receiving a lot of signs from just the outside world, God or what have you. And, uh, you know, I listened to my intuitions and even in the face of much adversity and forged my way through, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. I'm so glad that I did. It was really one of the best decisions I've made so far. And so you are uh, obtaining your um, GED? I already obtained, yeah. okay. uh, I took my final test on April 9th and uh, did receive my GED certificate. I scored really good scores, uh, high enough to put me in the top 20%, and I earned a six-semester scholarship. Wow, yes. that is excellent. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and, and what are your plans? To, what do you want to do uh, once you... Well, I've been working with Ms. Jenkins, the okay. transitional coordinator, uh, to transition into some college courses. I aspire to work in the field of aviation, so um, I'm going through the process of, you know, filling my financial aid and working with enrollment to get into some aviation maintenance tech programs right now. How have you seen uh, the staff um, treat you? Oh, they've the... been wonderful. Okay. They've been so supportive and, and inspirational and really, uh, like I said, I could feel the energy, the positive energy as soon as I walked through the door of the adult department education, the adult education department. Um, and they've been nothing but supportive and inspiring, uh, always at hand with resources, uh, you know, and I can't thank them enough. Really, they've really helped give me that final little bit of energy to push me to accomplish that first goal, and we're not done yet, mm. you know, and, and uh, I just really feel like they're in my corner. Excellent. It's been very helpful. And if you had to um, be the poster child for a Southwestern Illinois College, what would be the main thing you would tell the general public? Don't give up on yourself. Don't, don't doubt your abilities. Uh, there are people here to help. You know, if, if you aspire to grow your education, please do so. They're here to help. They will help you through the entire process. Uh, the sky is the limit. You know, the only one keeping the doors closed are ourselves. So just keep pushing forward. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. And, and actually, that's what we heard from the, the last young lady who was here. This appears that the, they really rally around you guys. They and, really and do. They really do. It's like a little, it's like a little family or like, like we're little baby birds in a nest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, <laughs> and right. and to, to me, they're like the, the parent birds bringing the food. Mm -hmm. You know? I do. Mm -hmm. I do. And I want to thank you for sharing your yes, story. Yes, ma'am. Is there anything that we have not had an opportunity to discuss and you want to make sure? I just want to encourage everybody to be the best them that they can be. And, you know, I think that that might be one of my jobs here on earth is to show people that no matter what obstacles are placed before you with, with diligence and, you know, passion to achieve and accomplish your goals and the right people around you, they're, there is no limit. You have no idea how much you're encouraging me. And I thank you for your time. Absolutely. Thank you. God bless you. And I pray that you continue to do well. Thank you so much. When you visit Big Mamas in East St. Louis, Illinois, located at 5900 St. Clair Avenue, you will need a fork and a bib. Big Mamas is known for their barbecue, cakes, excellent service and giving back to the community. Call in, eat in, drive through, carry out, order for your office. You can call Big Mamas at 618-398-8950 or visit 5900 St. Clair Avenue in East St. Louis, Illinois. Um, hi, my name is Melissa Snelson and I am the Highway Construction Careers Training Program Coordinator at East St. Louis Higher Education Center, Southwestern Illinois College with the Adult Education and Literacy Department. This program is funded by the Illinois Department of Transportation, hence the name Highway Construction, but my job is to get 
minorities, women, and other disadvantaged people into the highway construction careers training or just union trades period, um, I want to give you a career in construction, not just a job. Um, people say, oh, I wanna be in construction. Well, it doesn't quite work like that. When you're in a union trade, you are a specific trade. You are either a carpenter or an iron worker or an operating engineer, but you probably don't know what those particular jobs do. So that's our job is to show you what that trade does and try to get you interested, pique your curiosity about that. Maybe it is something that you want to do for the rest of your life. Again, a paid career in a union trade. You do have to be chosen for the program. It's not an automatic um, acceptance. Uh, first of all, you do have to have a, either a high school diploma or a GED and bring proof of it. You also have to have a valid driver's license, not a state ID. You have to have a license. So then you give me a call and I get you in here and we take a math and a reading test. You just have to score at an eighth grade level. If that goes well, then you would move on to interviews and I have business agents that come in from the trades in the area to interview for me because they know what they're looking for for an apprentice rather than myself. If that goes well, then you would have to be negative on an observed drug test. And then if you're chosen for the program, I'll take my, my plan is to take 12 for the fall with COVID being better. Um, <clears throat> you classes would be August 24 through December 9. Tuesday through Friday, no Monday classes, but they are 7.30 to 4, so it's 450 hours and you're expected to be here and be here on time or you would be let go. I got to get you ready for a construction job site and you got to be there because construction builds on itself. And if the iron workers aren't there to tie the rebar, then the laborers can't pour the concrete. So you got to be there. This is all free if you're called it a pay, I call it a paid educational opportunity because not only is everything included, funded by IDOT and you know, um, like you get 15 hours of college credit at SWIC. You get to keep all your tools, all your welding equipment. I get you composite toed boots. So you are literally at the ready to go to work the day after you complete the program. Now, this class getting out in December is gonna be challenging, I'm not gonna lie, but by March, I feel confident that you'd be working if you want to. Can't promise or guarantee it, but I feel confident. Um, and you also um, are given a stipend of $10 per hour for the 450 hour program. So most of us have student debt perhaps when they're done. Not only do you not have that, but you also make a little money for babysitting or you know um, whatever it is you might need. Again, this is an IDOT funded program. We've been around since um, 08 uh, and it's only at the East St. Louis campus of SWIC. So if you're interested, then you need to get a hold of me and we will work with you and try to get you in as best we can. I was shaking like a leaf, but I love it. I'm like, Shannon, I'm so proud of traveling um, company. She's been to all different states. Mm -hmm. she's, a, she's a pile driver. Jorge's out there. That's Angie again. He's on Route uh, 157 right now. Jaron, I don't know where he's at. He's a journeyman too. Jorge, uh, Dante, he just opened, he's a journeyman carpenter, and he just opened his own, um, he's a signatory contractor for the union, so he's a union contractor now just last week got approved and he is actually um, working on getting a become a DBE for IDOT Love it. Uh, disadvantaged business enterprises contractor okay. for IDOT so hopefully he'll be a sub on some jobs I will tell you that for um, a lot of people this is a game changer I mean like life-changing experience I do not care about ex offenders so it is a great opportunity for that second chance many of my success stories came straight from prison to me and uh, they now have, um, are building houses worth six figures. Well, now with, after COVID, it's seven figures, but six figure homes. They have insurance for their children. And um, they have, you know, it has been a, a life changing experience for them. And that is what makes me high about my job, you know, because they call me back and they say, hey, Melissa, because of this program, I have all of this. And I could have never done that. And that just, it gives my life purpose, you know, um, to know that I've helped a little bit in the change. I can't do the work for them, unfortunately. I wish that I could, but, and I can only crack the door. You know, I tell them, I said, y'all have to open that door and walk through it. And every dadgum day you have to walk through it because I can't do it for you. But for those of them, the students who want to do that, it can be a game changer. Right now I have, um, I have four apprentices out on the Poplar Street Bridge project and two, um, a, a journey woman and a journey man. I don't know if it's popular, but anyhow. Um, and their um, Keely and Sons are calling me and say, oh my gosh, you know, um, Shannon is just made to walk this beam. I mean, she's out there as a carpenter, been out since April 30, right? She's walking a six inch beam out there, 60 feet up in the air. And she's like, 
killing it. I mean, it's just, I just cry a lot at this job I do. Now, unfortunately, I do cry too when I have to lose a student because they have gone over the time allowed or, you know, been high or whatever in class and I have to let them go. That's a sad part too, but um, I've gotten guys into Amrin through this program and um, all the different trades. Um, it's just an amazing opportunity and it's not for everybody. You know, you may go through the program and go, oh, you know, I really didn't want to be in construction after all. But as you said, you know, you wouldn't have known that had you not tried, you know. They will finish with a, um, a National Career Re uh, Council Figer card, their OSHA forklift safety, OSHA 10 hour card, o OSHA scaffold using card, Crosby rigging, um, CPR first aid, AED, uh, work key certificate. I don't know how many credentials that is, but there's about seven of them. Does it guarantee them a job? No, it does not. Does it give them a leg up in the unions? Yes, it does. Okay. But I still want him to get in, want you to get in as an apprentice in that union trade. Because I want retirement for you, I want health insurance for you and your family, I want prevailing wage, and I want union protection. Contact SWIC at 618-235-2700. Get started. Get out on the right step. It's time. I mean, the program is free. We can't ask for any more than that. Thank you for watching Smile Television Talk Show, and we want to remind you that only what you do for Christ will last. Jesus is the Lord. The Lord be magnified. Hi, my name is Sterling Moody. I'm the owner of Neighbors Market, 1005 North 15th Street, on the Echo Jazz building across from Emerson Park, Metrolink Stop. We have fresh barbecue Friday and Saturdays, we have Sunday through Saturday, open from 7 to 7. Look forward to seeing you in the store. The Smiles Television Talk Show wants to showcase your business, organization, church, and activities. If you have an interest in being a guest on Smiles Television Talk Show, or if you have any show ideas, contact Stephanie Anthony Miles at smilestv777 at gmail.com. You may also call 618-741-3770. Tell your friends to subscribe to the Smiles YouTube channel. Let Smiles TV increase your reach. Remember, you look better with Smiles. IDEX Media does a lot. From IDEX Photography to IDEX Films. We help create forever memories and forever impressions. Imagination. Image a world. IDEX Media. Awesome sauce. Yeah, baby. Well, well.